happy Vlogmas Day 10, uh, which means we are 15 days away from Christmas. Crazy. Uh, and this was Thursday night, Friday, Tuesday, Saturday, day three. Three, Lauren, of Hanukkah? Day three of Hanukkah? I believe. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, I am excited to do uh, this, not an unboxing of the Father Quis Ooh, the Father Christmas quilt, uh, which was the collaboration with Pixel Quilts and Legit Kits. Uh, I'm, I'm unpackaging it and I'm going to organize it much like I would my Legit Kits. So I'm going to organize by color. Um, this is the, this is the pack. It's got a lot of white, so there's not going to be a whole lot of having to organize that, but <laughs> I'm going to set it up in much the same way I would a legit kit. And then throughout the next, uh, 10, 15 days of filming, I'll have a couple of, um, episodes where, uh, or, or vlog, yeah, vlogmas episodes, I guess, where I will be cutting the blocks to size using my AccuQuilt cutter. Um, I have heard and read a lot of comments where this is a lot of squares to cut. And I think what will help me with that is using my AccuQuilt. Uh, I have both the crank AccuQuilt and the electric one. Uh, I will more than likely try to whip these out with the electric ones just because um, and get things moving through a little bit faster. To be honest, I haven't read the um, pattern since I got it and I can't remember what all the different sizes are, uh, but the hand crank and the electric one, I can fit two six inch die through at the same time, but the electric one is easier to do that because you, you don't have to do it, you know, you have just to have two, two hands and you can just push them through. So that's why I'm thinking I'll probably use the electric one, but let's go ahead and start opening this up. Uh, starting with the paperwork, I have a file folder to organize it just like I would my legit kit, uh, and that's how I'm going to attack it. I will uh, be doing mostly with the overhead camera to show this, uh, but I will um, come to the forward-facing camera if I want uh, to to highlight any anything that I think might be better with the the forward facing. All right, but let's dig in. So let's start with, I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy up. Sorry for the crinkle sounds. Put that off to the side. There are our color codes. Okay, so let's take a look at how they're color coded. B for brown, I'm gonna guess. Oops. F for, hmm, I don't know, we'll read. P for peach, totally get that. O, orchid maybe? C, E, R, D, J, A, K, and M. All right, so that those are our selections. You'll notice fewer than any of the legit kits where, you know, there's like 173 colors <laughs> within them, but uh, this is pretty, um, because it's pixelated, it's uh, not supposed to be like as detailed as a legit kit uh, would be in its coloration. So it's supposed to look like, you know, like an 8-bit, like Minecraft or something like that. All right, so I'll go ahead and open the paperwork. We got the Legit Kit stickers. When I did do the unboxing, I already took the magnet out, um, but I will, I will show you the magnet. But these are the Legit Quilter and Legit Kits stickers. I'll actually grab the uh, magnet to show you. There's the magnet, so cute. There, fully magnetized on the back. Put them back where my magnet 
pockets are. All right, and let's take a look at the paperwork. So, okay, excellent. It's all loose leaf, so that's cool. All right, so the first is the cover page. Fabric requirements so that we don't have to worry about. Um, welcome to the world of pixel quilts. The, row, the quilt is broken down into 48 blocks, eight rows of six. Each page will contain all of the blocks to complete, whoa, complete one row. If this is your first pixel quilt, it may feel a little overwhelming. There are 12 shades of Kona cotton. Um, substituting will give it a, a different look, which I think we are all, you know, we can, we can go for that. Seam allowance is a quarter inch across the entirety of the of the uh, quilt itself. Some information about cutting, piecing, and pressing. Wool mat and clapper are handy, but not essential. Uh, gold standard for pixel quilts is pressing to the dark side, uh, but some with so many seams, it may not always be possible. So do what what feels right for the for the uh, row that you're working on. Divide your block into subsections. So that's cool. So this is the block, and these are the sections within the block that you'll be building little separate units, then sewing those units into sections and sewing those sections together to create your, your block. Subsections are just groups of pixels that sew together most easily to avoid Y seams. I know a lot of folks are happy to hear that. And so this is the pixelated outlook for it. And then the actual cutting, which I will get out of the way, but I will be looking at the cutting very closely so I know which which uh, quilt or which Accu quilt die to use. And then these, these are how they're put together throughout. All right, so I'm not going to put all of the paperwork in the same folders, but what I will do is go ahead and put the fabrics in And probably in alphabetical order, there, since there aren't as many, uh, let's see, three, figure three sections for the directions. I know there's a B, I thought there was an A. Just go ahead and put the B one. Oops, sorry about that. I just hit the camera. My apologies. Besides, I'm not, not trying to put it in like that. I'm going to fold it in half. One, two, three. So this would be A, this would be B. Let me go ahead and find A. So F. P. O's before P. C. C. E. Then J. And all that background and Santa beard. Oh, is that F? Yeah. There's an 
background fabric. All right. So now we'll put these in the folder. Let me do it this way so you guys can see. This is when I need a, a camera crew. D. E. I might have to double up some. See, I'm thinking I might have to double up some of these fabrics. I don't have enough to, to go all the way. And I definitely want all of the white to be this back one by itself because there's so much of this background one. All right, so let's double up some. What do you think, A, B, and C? I think that might be the easiest way to do it. A, B, C. D, E. Open up the file cube much better. R. All right. So that's all the fabric all in there. Let's see how I'm going to do the paperwork. I think. This stuff can all go kind of this just instruction -y stuff. I'll do the first one and breakdowns. Yeah. Breakdown row by row. We'll go next. diagrams shows you how to lay everything out for your size piece of fabric next and then the one that I can't show you which is the cutting sizes will go in the last paperwork folder 
there we go. There's Santa kit all set up, ready for me to start working. So next up, I will be showing those AccuQuilt uh, what are they called? The AccuQuilt ones. So, very cool. Alright, well there we go. It all put together. Thank you guys so much. Didn't even need to worry about the front camera. Uh, be sure to check out Russ and uh, on Quilt Me's World and Stephanie at Quilting with Stephanie Stitches. Again, Stephanie's comes out, her vlogmas comes out at 8.30. I'm at 9 and Russ is at 9.30. And then I will see you again tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.